With Wild Card Weekend underway, New York Post sports columnist Steve Serby, he caught up with Hall of Fame quarterback and ESPN color commentator Troy Aikman for his weekly Q&A, and now we will to catch up with Steve. Steve, how are you enjoying the playoffs? I'm doing all right, Dex, recovering from a uh, terrible cold. Uh, fortunately, not COVID, but uh, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Was re recovering from a bout with COVID last week, but now I'm back in, in the fold and feeling better and well and healthy. And so I'm glad you're healthy too and better. And we're, you know, we had we had a little DNP last week. People didn't see us with the Sundays with Serby, but we are back and in action, ready to go. So Steve, this week you spoke with Aikman and you talked to him about the quarterbacks that made the postseason this year. What does he think of the job the signal caller for his former team, the Dallas Cowboys, has done this season, and does he believe that Dak Prescott can elevate his play in the postseason? Yeah, he's uh, he's been a Dak Prescott fan for a while. Uh, as the quarterback of America's team, you're going to receive a lot of heat. There's plenty of pressure on the court. And Troy knows, Troy Aikman knows, uh, he won one game as a rookie. He heard the criticisms before he won his three Super Bowls. But he, uh, Prescott has vowed to cut down on his fifth, league leading 15 interceptions a year ago. And he did that he threw nine this year. And he's got quite a weapon with C.D. Lamb. Uh, he's seeing the field well. Aikman is impressed with how accurate he's been since the Chargers game. And he thinks that the footwork drills that Mike McCarthy did in the offseason with Dak has helped him immeasurable, immeasurably. Um, but there is heat on Mike McCarthy, by the way, in this game, I do believe. Because imagine if the Cowboys lose at home to the Packers with Bill Belichick lurking. Now, Belichick is being rumored heavily with the Atlanta Falcons and Arthur Blank. But, but, Aikman points out that while he believes McCarthy is safe, Jerry Jones, he knows full well, is an emotional man. He's an 81-year-old owner, and um, he won't look kindly on uh, an upset loss at home in front of his fans at Jerry World to Jordan Love and the Packers. So keep an eye on that. Uh, again, Atlanta looks to be the front runner. Jim, Har uh, Jim Harbaugh may end up in with the Chargers. If that's the case, then Belichick could end up with the Falcons. But it's a wait and see game now. Belichick is going to be in demand in uh, many places outside of Foxborough. No doubt about that. A lot of pressure on the Cowboys, as you said, to win their game on Wild Card Week, and we'll see how all that plays out now. This week, so many people, I know including yourself, they made their wild card weekend and Super Bowl picks. Who does Aikman believe will play in this year's Super Bowl? Well, Aikman must have been reading my preseason uh, oh. Super Bowl picks because he agrees with my prediction. Uh, he thinks the Ravens and the 49ers are the teams to beat, and the Ravens he, he views as arguably the best run organization in football from the owner Steve Bisciotti to Eric DaCosta in the front office to John Harbaugh who is one of the most underrated NFL coaches possibly in history this guy is the real deal <clears throat> and of course Lamar Jackson the MVP to be in my view and in Troy Aikman's view and uh, the 49ers with Kyle Shanahan, who Aikman believes is the best coach in football, the best play caller in football, an offense orchestrated by Brock Purdy, who is a point guard, quietly confident, makes good decisions, throws with accuracy, and has a ton of weapons around him. So Ravens versus 49ers, my preseason pick and I'm sticking to it, is 49ers over Ravens. And Aikman points out that uh, John Harbaugh will be glad that he wouldn't have to coach that game against his brother Jim Harbaugh as he did years ago in the blackout bowl, as you recall. I remember that very well. All right, Super Bowl pick, Niners, Ravens. We'll see if Serby 
this pick comes out on top. We've seen some other picks. One thing about Aikens, yes. by the way, keep keep an eye also on the Eagles' uh, bucks on Monday night mm. uh, because the Eagles, Aikman looks at the Eagles and see, sees a team in disarray. Now they don't have A.J. Brown on Monday exactly. night against the Bucks, And Baker Mayfield is be, has become quite a bargain for the Bucks, playing with that swagger that he used to have. So, um, you know, the Eagles could be moving on from Nick Sirianni should they be upset by the Bucks on Monday night. That should be a good one. Yeah, a lot of drama, a lot of pressure, but this is what the playoffs is all about and could be some more coaching changes. We will see. If you want to talk about quarterbacks, want to know about the Super Bowl and his picks, check out Steve Serby's Q&A with Troy Aikman. Did a great job there breaking down his thoughts on the QBs and the playoffs. Who knows better? Who, who knows quarterbacks? better than Troy Aikman, right? Yeah, very few. Very few that do there, Steve. He knows a thing or two, and if you want to know more, check that out on nypost.com. Steve, good to see you again for another Sunday. We will connect next week. Thank you. Thank you, Dex. Good to see you well. Thank you.